They don't want to be around you all the time. Give me the <laughs> Luna's a daddy's girl. When he gets home, she can't control her body. She just squiggles and she squirms because she's overwhelmed with happiness. He'll hug her and she will take cuddles and be carried like a baby. And Tia's is not as loud and proud as Luna, but she's a sweetie pie. She's trying to sneak up onto the bed between my husband and I. She'll put her head on my pillows and look at you. Her eyes have so much life behind them. They are completely different dogs, but they both spent years being suppressed. It makes me angry thinking of how long they've spent waiting to be loved. Luna was our first greyhound that we rescued. And Tia came to us as a foster. Hi. They were in the racing industry for four and a half and nine years. The injuries that happen on the track horse is a huge part of the industry. Luna was raced by a man who was banned for abusive behavior. And Tia was so lucky to make it that long without having a life-threatening injury. They were very nervous with tail between her legs and we used pinned back. We will try to give them their own space because they need time. Even if they came over to us, we would have them for a few seconds. And then if they come close, we'll continue. Luna got over her ear in a couple of months. And Tia and I picked up for her energy. And it's been magic ever since. They'll have the sweetest look on their face. You start seeing more of the tail wags and their little happy dance. And then it turns into running on the couch and jumping onto you. They're just the craziest sisters. They could live without each other. When Tia gets excited, she'll run up to Luna and try and like nibble her neck. Whereas Luna will do zoomies and dance around. Anytime one of them cries, the other one will run over to and try and find like what happened. When there's a big thunderstorm, Luna is terrified. Tia sits right next to her and puts her head on her. And she won't leave her side. She will stay there until the storm's over. Somehow it ends up that all four of us are on the bed laying close to each other. My husband and my two dogs, that's that little family unit. I have no words for how much love we have for them. They are everything to us. They give you a reason to smile every second of the day. They are the most sweetest caring dogs. I can't imagine life without them. It's time to watch more.